The Grenleg Debates. Powering bright ideas. You're watching the 11th season of the Grenleg Debates. Please bear in mind that matches, topics, and positions are randomly selected by schools. The theme for the quarterfinals is Litter and Our Environment. I am Rohan Bernard, your chairperson, and I call this house to order. And the motion is, be it resolved that the health benefits of Grenada's ban on styrofoam products outweigh the environmental benefits. The proposition, Grenville Secondary. The opposition, Bishop's College. Please welcome the first speaker for the proposition. Esteemed judges, worthy opponents, fellow colleagues, audience, timekeepers all, good day. Be it resolved that the health benefits of Grenada's ban on styrofoam products ought to weigh the environmental benefits. My colleagues and I have the honor of defending the greater of two great benefits. There are no losers here today. Grenada wins when this policy comes into full effect. As for speaker, I will define the key terms, clarify our claims and the moods, and address how the ban on importation of styrofoam products directly benefits our personal health. Speaker 2 will prove that the environmental benefits of the ban are reliant on the necessity of health preservation by presenting the dangers of styrene absorption in food chain. Finally, our cross-examiner and rebuttal speaker will defend our claims and re-challenge thereof of the opponents. Now for our definitions. Health, a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease. Also, a, to be greater or more important than something else, Cambridge English Dictionary. The English Oxford Living Dictionary defines benefit and an advantage or profit gained from something. An environment as the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal, or plant lives or operates. Thus, the motion simply means the advantages to the holistic well-being of individuals because of Grenada's styrofoam ban are of greater importance than the advantages than the surroundings. Honorable judges, we the proposition are clear that preserving human health and well-being is the fundamental purpose of any public policy. Thus, the benefits to health will always outweigh other factors. Worthy well, opponents, the environment does not use styrofoam. It is human beings who consume items from it. Thus, a ban on styrofoam in Grenada is actually a ban on human use of styrofoam. Listen, audience, this ban has direct benefits to our personal health. It has been scientifically proven that polystyrene, also known as styrofoam, leach all the toxins styrene when styrofoam contains, containers are heated in microwave or come into contact with warm food or drink. This causes human contamination and poses a direct risk to our personal health since styrene is ingested by humans. My shades of safer chemicals, as cited in a 2014 news article, The Guardian, highlights that the biggest concern of styrene as a consumer hazard is food packaging, since that substance, and I quote, leach out of polystyrene takeout food and drink containers, end of quote. No, our opponents could argue that the quantity of leaching is small. But what happens when these small quantities accumulate over time? Furthermore, the National Research and Council of the United States affirmed that the National Toxicology Programs 2011 found that the chemical styrene can, and I quote, reasonably be anticipated to be a human carcinogen, end of quote. The probability of carcinogen in styrene has moved up from a group 2B to a group 2A classification, mean made this year. This means cancer causing risk is getting higher. Dr. Kerry Mitchell, Assistant Professor in the Department of Public Health and Preventative Department of St. George's University, highlighted this in an interview October 19, 2018. Learned judges, we the proposition are convinced that the health benefits of the styrofoam ban tips the scale decisively in the direction of health benefits. The end result of Grenada's ban on styrofoam products is to protect the health and well-being of citizens. Protecting the environment is one of the means to do so. We do not protect the health to preserve our environment. We protect the environment to preserve our health. I thank you. The first speaker for the opposition. 
Grenada's Minister for Climate Resilience and the Environment, Senator Honorable Simon Steele, in a news article titled Pure Grenada Bans the Importation of Polystyrene Styrofoam by Now Grenada 2018, described the Non-Biodegradable Waste Control Act as, and I quote, a progressive legislation which seeks to regulate the use of non-biodegradable products, with a view of reducing the negative environmental impacts and improving the health of Grenadians, unquote. His statement reinforces our view that health is not in a vacuum by itself, as it is affected by factors perpetuated by man on the environment. Thus, any benefit experienced by the two must be viewed as cohesive. As such, we, the opposition, adamantly refute that the health benefits of Grenada's recent ban on styrofoam product outweigh the environmental benefits. One may ask, why is the environment important for health? According to Massey University of New Zealand, in the article, Environmental Health Indicators 2018, and I quote, the environment is a major determinant of our health and well-being. We depend on it for energy and materials needed to sustain life such as clean air, safe drinking water, nutritious food, and safe places to live, unquote. Therefore, as first speaker, I will outline how styrofoam has had an adverse effect on our environment, which consequently affects our health. My second speaker will provide examples of the cohesive benefits of its ban on health and the environment. Our fourth speaker will ultimately refute the proponent's claims. We accept all definitions put forward by our proponents. Honorable judges, worthy opponents, it would be remiss of me to not mention that the ban is an excellent initiative, one that augurs well for us and future generations. However, to insinuate that the health sector stands to gain more than the environment from this ban is laughable. To give a truer image of how disproportionate our opponent's view is on this issue, picture this. Statistics obtained from the Ministry of Trade Grenada revealed that in 2017 alone, 51,151.80 kg of styrofoam products were imported into Grenada. Styrofoam is used in almost all aspects of life. However, its mere production consumes fossil fuel, which emits greenhouse gases that adversely affect the environment and human health. While Grenada does not manufacture this product, the problem of global warming is far-reaching. A great pitfall of styrofoam is its non-biodegradable nature. In an interview with the Public Relations Officer of the Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority, Ms. Moina Julian, she stated, and I quote, Styrofoam accounts for 16% of litter in the landfills. The fact that it is so bulky poses a great problem in its storage in the landfill. Added to that, when mixed with other garbage, harmful chemicals may leach into our water and air. Unquote. Furthermore, it has been estimated that it takes at least 500 years for plastic foam to break down. That means a foam cup in use today will still be in a landfill in 2518. As the environment is affected, consequently our health is affected. Judges, Another atrocious effect is that on the terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. Graca et al. in the Environmental Science and Pollution Research International Journal, Styrofoam Debris as a Potential Carrier of Mercury Within Ecosystems 2013, explained that Styrofoam has the potential to absorb pollutants like mercury from water, air, and soil. This debris is then introduced into the alimentary systems of different water, air, and soil organisms. This now poses the problem of entry into food chains of which man is most times the tertiary consumer. This can prove to be detrimental to the health of animals and humans. When styrofoam enters the food chain, it affects the health of a nation directly and indirectly. Honorable judges, opponents, the environment and health are inseparably linked. Thus, we stand resolutely in saying that both aspects stand to get equally from this ban implemented thus far. I thank you. The second speaker for the proposition. Good morning. We stand by our definition of the moot. Worthy opponents, have you ever really thought about the impact of styrofoam products on our health? When we think about the use and disposal of styrofoam products, the majority of us do not think about how our health is affected. Instead, we focus on the aesthetics, what pleases the eye. To be honest, thousands of empty, dirty, white styrofoam containers littering our environment do not please the eyes. Let us really examine what this litter actually does to our health. 
because it is lightweight, surfing products can easily be blown away and often float into our rivers and seas. There, it breaks up into smaller pieces which are sometimes ingested by marine life. Now exactly how does that negatively impact our health? The answer is through bioaccumulation. The BBC program Bite Size states, this is when dangerous toxins build up in a food chain. Toxic styrofoam particles are eaten by primary consumers, which in turn are eaten by secondary consumers. The higher the consumption level, the higher the concentrations of toxins in the body tissues of the consumer at the top of the food chain. Judges, human beings are at the top of the food chain. According to Dr. Martin Ford, Department Chair of the Public Health and Preventative Medicine at St. George's University, it is human health which is ultimately affected by bioaccumulation when aquatic organisms ingest styrofoam particles. Therefore, the styrofoam ban, while protecting marine life, directly protects the health of Grenadians. We protect our environment to preserve our health, not vice versa. Now we know that the non-biodegradable character of the that the non-biodegradable character of styrofoam creates many environmental issues for our small island. We are convinced that it is not the inability to manage styrofoam waste products properly, but the increase in diseases and other health issues that led to the styrofoam ban in the first place. Our stance is echoed by Ms. Mona Julien, senior PRO at the Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority. Ms. Julian agrees that the styrofoam ban is more of a health issue than an environmental issue due to the huge cost associated with treating persons who would have contracted diseases as a result of rodents and mosquitoes breeding in exposed styrofoam containers. Similarly, Mr. Ernie James, chairman of the, Steer of the steering committee for the ban on styrofoam, states that though Grenada is yet to carry out a scientific study to determine the relationship between the increase in health issues and diseases like leptospirosis and the use and disposal of styrofoam products, he believes that there is a direct link. Judges, the goal of any environmental policy is geared at protecting life, healthy lives, Thus, it is greater benefits to health that drives environmental issues. We protect the environment to preserve our health. It is resolved that the health benefits of Grenada's ban on styrofoam products outweigh the environmental benefits. I thank you. The second speaker for the opposition. Lot of judges. There must be a holistic approach to good health between man and his environment. Therefore, the ban on styrofoam seeks to foster this. Corroborating our view is Honorable Simon Steele in a news article by the New Today 2018 when he said, and I quote, we need to look at the environmental and health costs associated with styrofoam use holistically, unquote. To pit one against the other, she realizes such progress and narrows the scope of benefit to the individual consumer whose health is directly affected by food consumption through styrofoam containers. However, a broader perspective reveals that the reality of the action of the individual user on the environment has a rippling effect on the health of the vast majority. Consequently, this augments that our stance that whatever benefits are derived must be viewed as cohesive. The advent of the styrofoam ban has already initiated the move towards biodegradable products by our restaurants. According to the website triplepunded.com, compostable food service packaging is an alternative to styrofoam. The containers are made using cornstarch, palm fiber, and other products which break down into compost. Alternatives like these are immensely beneficial to our environment, as it is eco-friendly and can be diverted from our dump sites to compost pits. There is yet another advantage as our farmers can use the natural fertilizers obtained from this decomposition, reducing the use of hazardous artificial ones. Additionally, this encourages more organic food production, thereby improving health of Grenadians. Likewise, reusable containers can be used, which guarantees that products do not make their way into our landfill. This reduces the likelihood of creating breeding grounds for pests, which can be vectors for many diseases like leptospirosis, which according to Dr. Francis Martin, Senior Medical Officer in the Ministry of Health, in an article by Now Grenada 2017, has increased from three to six cases per year to 10 reported cases in 2017. The styrofoam ban will minimize these occurrences and reduce waste production. 
A report by the United Nations Environment Program 2018 on single-use plastics stated that, and I quote, Domestic waste, including plastics, is often burnt, exposing largely women and children to prolonged toxic emissions, unquote. Our research work shockingly revealed that many Grenadians were unaware of the toxic nature of burning styrofoam products. In light of this, the ban will see a reduction in the burning of them, resulting in cleaner air, a benefit to health and the environment. Moreover, the toxic footprint in our marine environment will be improved. Our beaches, sea, and coastal areas are not just beautiful because of their biodiversity, but they provide livelihood and food for most of our people. According to the article by Anup Shah, Global Issues, Why is Biodiversity Important? And I quote, a healthy biodiversity provides a number of natural services for everyone, such as contribution to climate stability, use in medicinal drugs, and food, unquote. A reduction in marine pollution will allow our aquatic ecosystem to effectively perform its functions. This again shows cohesiveness in its benefits to health and the environment. As Dr. Martin Luther Jr. puts it, it really boils down to this, that all life is interrelated. Whatever affects one destiny affects all indirectly. I thank you. The opposition cross-examiner. Worthy opponents, what are the factors that tell us whether the health benefits outweigh the environmental benefits? My opponent, I don't understand your question. Worthy opponent, what are the indicators that tell us whether the health benefits outweigh the environmental benefits? My opponent, human lies, that is the main factor. Is that all? Yes. Are you aware that when styrofoam goes to the landfill, it leaches out chemicals into the soil? the water and the air which we breathe. So we see that the environment and health are linked. Let's move on. How are the environment and health separate? My opponent, they are, not, they are separate, but they are interdependent on each other. So you are actually agreeing with everything we are saying. What are you actually arguing? My opponent, we are saying that, the, that the, our health is the main priority of any environmental policy, my opponent. But do you know that we are in the environment, so if the environment benefits, our health benefits, and vice versa? My opponent... You are yeah. agreeing with everything we are saying. My opponent, our health is the main priority, my opponent. But if it leaches out chemicals into the marine life, which we have to consume, which is in the food chain, wouldn't this come back to us? My opponent, remember, you accepted our definitions, and our definitions of health is... Or the opponent, time is of the essence. Let me move on, please. Well, the opponent, would you say that instead of just a health or environment issue, it is more of an environmental health issue? My opponent, it don't matter which way you structure it, our health is the number one priority. My opponent, how is it? My opponent, let me finish. Yes, go ahead. So, is the, is the environment supposed to enjoy the environment's, is the environment supposed to enjoy the environment's own um, fresh oxygen and trees? I'm sorry, we say nothing about that. But, but you are agreeing with us in but saying that... But my opponent that is saying that the environment is more important. So my point to you is... I'm our sorry, health we, we is say nothing about that. We're saying that they're interrelated. It has to be viewed as a mutualistic... But, but my, opponent, opponent. my opponent... The debate is, my opponent, the debate is on whether or not we well, shall the, the other. Would you say that the health effects of styrofoam is as, a, is as a result of our bad environmental practices? My opponent, even though we were to eliminate styrofoam from the environment, as stated by my first and second speaker, styrofoam can affect us directly, and your speakers have already agreed with that, my How opponent. How is it affecting us directly? My opponent, when, when chemicals are leached from it, when hot foods have been placed in it, my opponent. How often do you go to a restaurant and get hot food served in styrofoam for this leakage? leakage? And even if it is leached, the, chemical, the body metabolizes these chemicals into something else, so it doesn't stay in the body. Let's move on. Would you agree that the ban increased consumers' awareness of the impact of our actions on our environment and on our health? Yes, my opponent. The proposition, cross-examiner. For the opponent, what is the purpose of protecting the environment? Well, we have to understand that the environment, our health are linked. My so opponent, let me answer my question, please. If we protect the environment, wouldn't the health benefit? Because you know, leachage of chemicals when it is in a landfill goes into our marine life, which we have to consume, which 
Mm, spoils our health. So you are agreeing with in, us? If it leaks into the soil, so so you are agreeing with us. You no. say, your second speaker my stated opponent, you just that the health me, and the environment are linked. You just say that the so end result... So what really result, are you arguing? My opponent, I'm the one asking the questions. You just stated that the end result is our health, proving that our health is so not one priority. My linked. opponent moving on. Of course. My opponent, if Grenada's banned and style from products were for greater environmental benefits, why is it banned on products which food is consumed? No one on our team said the environment is greater. So my it opponent... It has to be viewed as a mutualistic symbiosis. Both of them are on the same level. If they health benefits, our environment benefits. So my opponent, then you are going against the moot, because the moot clearly wants to know which one is we more important. We are supporting our side of the moot. My opponent, you, you stand by our definitions, outweigh means to be greater or more important than... We never said environment outweighs health, but they are equal. So my opponent... Mutualistic symbiosis, which means my the, if the health benefits, the environment benefits. My opponent, you are going against the moot, moving on. We are what? agreeing with our stance. My opponent, you're not pick, you're supposed to pick a side, but you're trying to say which is equal. Our health is more important. Moving That's on, our side. We're saying that they're equal. Mutually on, my opponent. Moving on. Opponent, you mentioned that you mentioned that Mona, Miss Mona Jr. stated that there are sixteen percent of um, styrofoam in the waste. Is segregation of waste conducted when the waste is bring at, bring at perseverance or dumb fries? What is your question? My question is, do they segregate the waste when it is brought at the dump sites? No, when it makes with other chemicals in the dump site, it leaches harmful chemicals my, into the air. Let me finish my question. I finish Which my... affects our health when we inhale these bad chemicals. And if it leaks into the soil, our plants have to use this for their processes and we go back and eat the plants. Doesn't this affect our health? My opponent, so thank you very much. I find it to be that your entire team is agreeing with our debate. Moving Come over on. on our side. You're agreeing with everything we're saying. My opponent, moving on. Or the opponent, we just see that the upgrade of chemical styrene, which styrofoam is made from, from a class 2A to a 2B classification of medicine is called, is called for greater health concern. Are you talking about the carcinogen? Yes, my opponent. Well, there's no conclusive study that says styrene is a carcinogen. It causes no form of human cancer, cancer in humans. And you may talk about benzene. But benzene, you can only get cancer from benzene in the environment through the air, our skin can absorb it, and through contaminated water, which still leads back to the environment. They have no conclusive studies that show styrene causes human cancer. My opponent. Do you have any quantitative evidence that says that styrene My causes cancer in Grenada? The opposition rebuttal speaker. Maintaining a healthy environment is important in increasing years of healthy life. To say the health benefits outweigh the environmental benefits is very much incontestable. Opponent, your first speaker stated that we protect the environment to preserve our health. And opponent, I have to commend you for agreeing with my team that if the environment is not protected, then our health will be at stake. Your first speaker stated that if... That if foods in your second speaker stated that if foods in styrofoam containers are microwaved, these persons are at a high risk of developing cancer. But what the opponent, there is no qualitative evidence. There is no quantitative evidence that proves these cancers are linked to styrofoam use. And according to the Oxford Journals on, on Mutagenesis 2011, Issue 5, there is no available evidence that supports a causal relationship between styrene exposure and any type of human cancer. And while benzene, another chemical used in styrofoam production, can cause cancer, it can only do so when people are exposed to contaminated air or water. This is according to the National Cancer Institute. What's the opponent? This takes us back to the environment where the health problem stems from. The styrofoam ban will eventually rid the environment of toxins, thus improving human health. Aren't the two inextricably linked? Your second speaker mentioned that banning styrofoam will reduce the amount of contaminants in our food supply. In essence, with the opponent, you are again supporting our stance that, that both health and the environment benefits in this regard. Your first speaker stated that we protect the environment to preserve our health. And opponents, thank you again for agreeing with us that the health, ben that the health cannot stand alone without the environment. Your POI speaker stated that that our health is more important than our environment. But opponents, that's false, because if our environment is not kept clean, then our health shall be effective. Opponents, take for example our tourism sector. If our trees are cut down, and if all this styrofoam if all this styrofoam continue. The proposition rebuttal speaker.
Good morning. We applaud the government's initiative to implement the Non-Biodegradable Waste Control Act. We cannot and will not deny that the styrofoam ban has great benefits for our environment, and whatever benefits our environment benefits our health. We firmly believe, however, that the health benefits are greater. The objective of any environmental policy, great, policy is geared at protecting the greater good, our health. Please allow me to refute some claims made by our op opponents, sorry. Your first speaker said that styrofoam is non-biodegradable. However, we acknowledge that styrofoam is non-biodegradable. It is because of this characteristic that styrofoam products create greater health hazards since it, is, since it provides nesting grounds for rodents and mosquitoes. According to Ms. Mona Julian, Senior Public Relations Officer at the Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority. Additionally, Speaker One also said that health benefits are dependent on environment and health. It is precisely because our health can be affected that we take measures to ban the styrofoam products. According to the Health Department of Pittsfield, the main purpose of, of environmental policies is to protect health. Finally, Speaker Two on your cross examiner said that styrofoam products is often burnt, releasing toxic substance which pollutes the air. This is not the case. Our research shows that the burning of styrofoam products at the landfills fills, create greater health than environmental risks, especially to the workers and people who live close by. Honorable judges, environmental benefit is the means. Health benefits is the end. The means will never be greater than the end. We protect our environment to preserve our health. It is resolved that health benefits of Grenada's ban on styrofoam products outweigh the environment benefits. Thank you. And the winner is Bishop's College. Thank you for joining us. Please tune in for the rest of season 11 of the Grand Lake Debates. Visit us on Facebook to vote for your favorite debater. The Grand Lake Debates, powering bright ideas. Vote for your favorite debater on our Facebook page. The Grand Lake Debates, powering bright ideas.